Recently, my family and I went on a road trip to the Oregon coast. Today, I will explain the effects of climate change on this area. Temperature rise has a huge impact on the plant and animal communities all over the world, especially in coastal Oregon. The region has already warmed nearly 2 degrees Fahrenheit since 1900, and Oregon's climate is projected to warm on average 3 to 7 degrees Fahrenheit by the 2050s and 5 to 11 degrees Fahrenheit by the 2080s under continued increasing greenhouse gas emissions. Massive heat waves like the heat dome that hit Oregon at the end of June will also become more common, threatening many species. As temperatures rise, plants and animals as habitats will not be suitable anymore, so many will not survive and whole species could suffer. These high temperatures and long, dry summers are also making fires in the coastal forests more frequent, larger, and more ferocious, as well as lengthening the annual fire season. While fires can be good because they burn the undergrowth and clear up forests, if they become too frequent, many plants never have a chance to regrow. Some projections show a 200% increase in burned area annually by mid-century. The massive fires last year took a huge toll on these forests, and the terrible heat wave that came in late June only worsened conditions. This heat will also cause a loss of water. Rain is becoming less and less common as climate change progresses. This is terrible because water is vital for the many ecosystems of the area. The snow-fed streams and rivers already have less water, warmer temperatures, and lower water quality. And this trend will only continue. Warmer temperatures will also result in less coastal fog, which is not only a vital source of water, but also a temperature regulator, as the fog keeps the area cool. Extreme weather will also become a lot more common on the coast, and the freak downpours and floods will ravage the remaining plant communities. The average precipitation in the area may not change significantly, but extreme rainstorms that would historically break records will occur much more often. Huge floods will damage the forests beyond repair and drown out any remaining wildlife. There will also be a huge increase in winter storms in the region, and these violent storms could heavily damage local ecosystems. The ocean ecosystems of the area are also greatly struggling, as warmer oceans and rising sea levels are having some huge consequences. The heat dome's high temperatures cooked shellfish alive by the millions across the Pacific Northwest, decimating local ecosystems. Low oxygen dead zones off the coast are also becoming larger and more numerous, killing many more ecosystems. Projected sea level rise varies along the Oregon coast, but if we significantly cut emissions, sea levels here are projected to rise by around half a foot by 2050. If emissions continue at current levels or even increase, sea level rise could reach 3 feet by 2050. Increased beach erosion caused by higher tides and larger waves are also a huge problem, and they have already damaged many of the tide pools and bird rookeries in the area, and more damage is on its way. Higher sea levels, along with stronger storms, are also eroding the sand dunes in the area incredibly quickly. These sand dunes are amazing because it seems like they just pop up between the forest and the coast. And if they were gone, this area would not be the same. The estuaries and coastal wetlands of the area will also be heavily damaged by rising tides and ocean acidification, leaving many animals without a critical habitat. Many more animals in the area are at risk as climate change progresses. Fish die-offs will increase due to higher river temperatures, and local bird populations will change with projected climate change scenarios. With the loss of all of these animals, from mammals to butterflies to cold water trout, whole ecosystems will be destroyed and the remaining plants and animals will have to leave or die. There are many more problems facing this area, from pollution to heavy logging to overdevelopment, and we have to do what we can to stop them. While coastal Oregon is one place that is greatly affected by climate change, everywhere will feel its effects. We have to take action while we still can, and we must solve this crisis. Thanks for watching, and please join me for my next video in two weeks.